So today we're talking about embalming men and the effect that might have on their genitalia. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Trish is dying to know. I am dying to know. Hello, everybody. Hi. You've changed. In what way? Oh, you put your mic on? I put my mic on. I took my jacket off in the last video. I forgot my mic again. Because oh, yeah, I'm a class act. Oh, class act. Fully professional. I'm still in the same outfit. That's all right. We're answering questions. That's what we're here for, not to be fashion models. We're so not. that's all right. Today, we've got a bit of a, a crossover here between a couple of questions that okay. were asked. So I'm going to paraphrase what the questions were. Um, first of all, from Cindy, whose Hi, son Cindy. tragically died. And oh. Cindy had a question to ask about that. Oh. Um, and also, at Hens Only has asked a similar question in a okay. similar um, area. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah. I thought yeah. we'd answer them both together. Yeah. And the question was regarding... Um, men who are embalmed and whether or not embalming fluid makes them have an erection when it's going through the body, mm -hmm. through the vessels. Yeah. Um, and and this was asked with much apology, but does the embalmer have to massage the um, fluid through the penis? Oh, okay. So that will be coming from when we've talked about massage and the um, arms and the, the body arms. and yeah. moving the blood through yeah. and, and all that. Yeah, so you're talking – so it, I can I get the question of where you massage because we talk about yeah, we massage often. embalming fluid all the way through, like by and pushing the blood and the fluid through. Yeah. And in context of that, it's not a crude question. It's a very uh, no. I actually have thought that myself as well. Yeah. So I'll explain the whole procedure of embalming and what happens in the genitalia area for men and women. You know, so specifically um we're talking about uh, penises yep. and um you know the scrotum area and all of this so when we embalm a body yes we massage the body and what we're doing is we're pushing all the blood through out through the jugular because we need to clear blood and fluid and um replace it with embalming chemical to embalm the body and as you've said a few times before there can be clots so you have to massage to move it yeah, it doesn't yeah. just naturally flow sometimes absolutely right. so flow Got it. Yeah, flow 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 so we, we're embalming the body, we're massaging the body. Now, um, erections happen with when a man's blood flows through to the penis, when they have erection goes like that. So we actually don't need to massage the genitalia area at all because um, it's not full of blood like it is through the whole body. Uh, and when we embalm, the um, the penis of the scrotum will take in some of the fluid, but doesn't take it in a lot. So what happens after the whole embalm? Oh, I know where this is going. Yeah, after the whole embalm's finished, we embalm the body, and you know we're always checking it's you know, and we can tell it's embalmed by the change of colours. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, <clears throat> texture of the skin, uh, the the, the tissues plumping up, you know, getting all that nice uh, plumpness back. Um, so we've embalmed, we're embalmed, but we always have to do some hypodermic work, which, uh, you know, usually entails getting to the backside because the pressure points and the shoulder bit. Pattern, where they're lying. Right? Yeah, where they're lying. Yep. And the genitalia also needs to be uh, um, injected hypodermically, the same as females or males. And um, what we do after we uh, open, we've got the little point where we do the cavity, mm -hmm. you know, where you do the little incision. We've got a little tiny hole here where the trocar is going to be entered to do the cavity embalming. And also uh, what happens is we can inject uh, fluid because we've got a big hypodermic needle down into the genitalia area. But to get into uh, the scrotum and to the penis, we need to go just above the pubic bone where with the needle, because it's a sharp needle, we'll inject and actually inject into that into area. That specifically, like that you would area. a finger or yeah. any... Yeah, so actually we're not massaging that area. We don't need to massage. All we need to do is make the incision just slightly above or use the incision we've already used and go in. And the needle's um, quite a long needle. As we've seen in other videos, quite long. So that in this will probably make you all curl your toes and go, oh, yeah, and all of that. But it's, and it's the same as in females as well. We'll make the little incision just above the uh, pubis area. Do you do that for everyone you embalm? 
Yes, you have to. And, um, I never knew that. Yeah, just because sometimes, uh, well, most of the time, the fluid doesn't, the embalming fluid right. doesn't get to these areas okay. as well as it does all the other tissues. So, okay. um, so that's how we do embalming. Yes, the tissues will swell, the scrotum will swell, the penis will swell slightly, but it doesn't get an erection. We're not uh, doing anything like that. It just, it just plumps. You know, the tissues just plump up. And the little incision we've made for um, going in to do uh, the cavity aspirator, the hypodermic needle goes right through and does the bump from the inside okay. so we can go right in. Right. So we're not making any more incisions in the back or anything like that. We're actually going internally through to the um, sides down here. And so we're injecting all of this area and all of that area. And we inject through the carotids. To do the shoulder bits okay, here. Yeah. So you put in the your, back. Oh, yeah, so you don't so, actually lift them up and inject into the shoulder. Well, you are lifting, but you're injecting through oh, there. Okay. And you're just massaging to make right. sure that there's plenty of fluid got in there. Right. There probably has, but you've just got to make sure them pressure points are definitely right. embalmed. So, so you don't actually hypodermic inject into the penis? Uh, it, well, you, it does go in. Like, yeah, but not. No, it goes Not, in like into that area. Yeah. So you at the top, you're at the top of the penis inject, and then you'll move the the, the needle slightly down, and then it'll go into yeah. the scrotum yeah. area. So it goes into that area and yeah. goes into that area. So yes, you're injecting right on it and yeah. right near it, but you're but not. You don't want picking to push. it up and going in through the. No, you're outside not. parts. No, 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 no. It's all internal. Yeah, yeah. It's all internal. Everything's internal. So it's kind of less of that personal thing. Yeah, like yeah, there's no, none yeah, of that. yeah. There's in, you don't you ever don't. have to touch do you no not really i mean you, you you're not really doing that and 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 again when we're embalming even when we're uh, doing that we still have a cloth over yeah. yes we'll move it and it's up there and we still because you've got to still see the fluids getting in but it's just lying yeah, there. Yeah, it's the not clock. like you're sitting there looking at it going, yeah. oh, is it getting through yeah, there yet? Yeah. Or, and you know yeah. and you can tell and you just go, yep, I'm Dignity happy with Dignity and respect. Yeah. And it's always, you know, it's always, uh, you know, but you've got to check that there's plenty of fluid because especially when we're doing like above ground vaults and repatriation, you know, because these, the, um, these are the areas that will start to decompose if the embalming if chemicals done. Yeah. done properly. So, yeah, so that that's uh, the uh, hypodermic work is in the genitalia area and around the shoulders and the bottoms, any pressure points. So Boobies? Uh, yes, we can inject again through where we go through in where we've got the opens for the carotid. We can uh, undo that and also through the little incision. So is it often that the fluid doesn't naturally just get through to the boobies? Uh, often, yeah, you'll find, and you'll find that even with arms and fingers and toes, yeah. so you have to use your hypodermic work because right. you can tell there's not a lot yeah. of fluid and you can see and you're not. Yeah. So again, it's all internal and it's all, you know, you're going in through the little incision here or down through the incision you made here so yeah it's all respectfully done and you know it's uh, all internal so yeah. and it's clinical oh it's clinical it's very it clinical yeah it's just like you know I'm not a doctor or a nurse or anything like that but it's like going to doctors and nurses you you see it every day and not every day it's part of the anatomy of the body you know that's just part of what we are and it's what we do and we care for it and we respect it and we very do everything with dignity and care so it, to me, it's just another part of the anatomy, yeah. you know, of the human body. Yeah. So, you know, so that's... thank you for answering that delicate subject. Yeah. Thank you to Hens Only for your question. And yeah. Cindy, thank you for your question. We're so sorry you've been through that. That's yeah. horrific. Yeah, it uh, is. But um, I hope that gives you some closure. Uh, absolutely. And yes. our thoughts and our love are with you and yeah. anyone else who's grieving. Yeah, suffering, yeah. Okay, take care, guys. Until next time, look after yourselves. See you, guys.